Hi and welcome to GameBench. Would you like to test the power consumption of your iOS or Android devices? In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use the GameBench wireless feature, which is currently in beta, to record the milliamp consumption of your iOS device. For Android, you can simply download our Android application to get your power metrics. For iOS, you'll need to use our desktop application. It is worth mentioning that this tool is in the early stages of development and some devices are currently not supported. An example of this being the new iPhone 8 and iPhone X, where power profiling appears to be broken. We've submitted a bug report with Apple and hope to offer support for these devices in the near future. To begin, you'll need to make sure you're running the latest version of the GameBench desktop app. You can update your version of the desktop app by clicking the settings icon in the top right and checking for updates, or by going to pro.gamebench.net and downloading the latest version. We recommend using a second mobile device to broadcast a hotspot to which you can connect your iOS device and your computer running the desktop app. However, you can also use a standard Wi-Fi network if this is not an option, provided that in either case your iOS device and your computer are on the same network. Please note, to ensure a stable connection, screenshots will automatically be disabled during wireless testing. To perform a wireless test, just follow these steps. Step 1. Tether the device you wish to test as you normally would. Allow GameBench to prepare it, and then ensure that the device name is selected in the pull-down menu in the top left corner of the desktop window. Step 2. Hit the wireless button in the top right corner as shown here, and GameBench will prepare your device for wireless profiling. You will get a pop-up when this is complete, and the wireless button will turn red. Step 3. Now you can disconnect your device from your PC. Step 4. Hit record, then test as you normally would, then hit stop when you're finished. Step 5. When you're done with the wireless profiling on that device and or you want to switch to a different device, just plug the device back in and hit the wireless button again to reset. Step 6. Once you've finished recording, you can sync your data to the web dashboard as you normally would. The network upload metric also includes the profiling data sent across from the device to the desktop app. This is something we're looking to fix in the near future. For now, you can work around this by performing a wired session to get an understanding of the uploaded data. If you have any other questions, just email support at gamebench.net and one of our engineering team will get back to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.